couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle blues lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, we're gonna explore fingerstyle blues in C. And even though we're gonna stay mainly on the C, F, and G, basic open position chord shapes, we're still gonna add enough material to it, enough licks, enough extra notes, extra embellishments, to make it interesting. Now, the whole purpose of the blues series and the improvisation series uh, in general here on Lickin' Riff is to give you a toolbox to express yourself on the guitar and use your own style and method, whichever is convenient for you. So I'm not gonna impose any fixed idea on you. My purpose here is to teach you enough uh, material and give you enough ideas to kickstart your own improvisation and exploration on the guitar. So, we have C, F, and G. Now, um, we can do F major seven. Okay, with the open E string, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3. Or we can play F and open the first string, okay, as a lick. That's already a tool. And we can also use the seventh chord equivalence, C7, okay, which is C with three on the second string. Uh, sorry, on the third string. Okay, don't know why I said the second string. Maybe because I was still thinking about F. And in F, you have four on the second string. Okay, this is, this is uh, F7, so okay, you can also vibrate it if you like. Okay, it's with your pinky, so for some reason it's easy to vibrate the pinky when you're playing a chord. Okay. Now um, for G, you can either play 3 on the 4th string, okay, for the 7th note, or 1 on the E string. You can either play one zero zero or add three on the second string and create okay, a different voicing. One three zero on strings one two and three, and three on the bass. So those are our chord shapes. So first, the first thing is to explore it. Okay, to explore and see what you can get out of these chords because we have fingers and not just one pick. So we can create a lot of different uh, stylings here. A lot, and by a lot, I do mean a lot, because you have different arpeggios, okay? With the C chord, it sounds like this. And with seven, it sounds different. Okay, you can add the seven later. Right? To move to F7. Okay, you can put the seventh on and off. Okay, and create a pentatonic click. Okay, one and four. Now you can also use four on the second string when you're playing C, okay? To create, okay? To create that same pentatonic line, but on C, okay? One and four on the second string, okay? And I'm adding the open E string in between, okay? So, okay? And you can move to F afterwards. Now, I'm playing Travis Picking right now, but you don't have to play Travis Picking. If you want to know how to Travis Pick, I have a huge lesson for that, 20 beginner Travis Picking exercises. But you can play uh, any rhythm you want or a shuffle rhythm for natural blues. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Okay, like this. Okay, bass, bass, chord, bass, 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 chord. Or just add the chord randomly. As long as you're thinking pa 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 and playing the arpeggios and the chord on that beat, it'll be a shuffle beat. You don't have to play the bass continuously all the time. Okay, now you have one on the second string between C and F, so you can use it as a transition. So you can try that without the beat first, if it's a little bit too com uh, too complex for you. Just try the chord and try to play the next chord at the end of the leg. Okay, now you have three 
on the second string as well. So you can use it to create a shuffle sort of thing. I'm not playing anything. I'm just giving you a toolbox where we'll connect everything afterwards. So as you see, you have a lot of material between C and F. You also have 3, 1, and 0 on the E string. Okay, you can do the same thing on both. I did 3, 0, and then I did 3 on the second string, open E string, and then 1 on the second string. Okay, and you can use 4 on the second string for the bluesy feel. Same lick works on both. Now, um, I didn't use one on the E string, but you can do that as well. Okay, I played C7 and then added a pull off on the E string. You can also pull off on the second string. I think I said second string. Um, again, my mind was racing. Um, I pulled off on the first string. And then uh, one on the second string, so. Okay, now I did something different. Again, um, my fingers do something, then I show you what they did. I just let my fingers flow, and this is what you should do. You should let your fingers roll around the neck and just play whatever they want to play, and then you analyze what came out and memorize the things you like best. So, um, I just played one pull off to zero one on the second string and then one pull off to zero on the first string and then one on the second and played the chord in between. Okay, now I played a few more ideas. Now, um, we have G as well. Okay, you can lead chromatically to the bass note, zero, one, two, three. And then you can play the low seventh note I showed you before, or right? or play around with one on the E string, okay, which is the seventh note, or just play with the same notes I showed you before, and that creates a different feel. Now you also have three zero on the third string, which is inside the C seven chord. Okay, so you can use it on G as well. And you also have 3 0 on the fourth string because 3 is the seventh note for G. So you can use both seventh notes. And you can go back to C or to F if you're strict, uh, a strict blues person and you want to follow the 12 bar blues or the 8 bar blues. So. Go back to F. Now, of course, you can do the bar F okay, and play the pinky on uh, four, three, and one on the E string. Okay, or you can do the thumb here and put the F shape. Or you can play the F7 shape like this. It's um, one, two, one on strings two, three, and four. Get a D7 shape with one on the sixth string with your thumb. Okay, but this overcomplicates. Okay, or, um, okay, um, you can also use chromatics 210 on the third string, but again, this is stepping a little bit over the simplification line. Okay, so you can do. Okay, you can bar the first fret for F minor 7. Okay, if you're playing strings 1, 2, 3, and 4, you get F minor. So use that only after you've gotten used to everything else. And you can use it as a transition back to C. See? I played the F minor after F major, and then just uh, pulled off from three to one, played one on the second string, then the open E string, back to C. So, 
You can also use three and four on the second string as a chromatic, okay? It will serve okay? as a chromatic, as a, an advanced line. Okay? Or you can find your own expression. Different, uh, any any sort of root throughout the the note choice you have here. The array of notes is fine. Okay, as long as you land on the right note. Okay, even three on the third string. So, okay, one on the third string. That's the chromatic approach from two to one to zero back to. C, so, and you can also use that as a turnaround, and that's the last thing I'll show you um, in this lesson. Um, you can use this, okay, which is three, two, one, zero on the third string. Okay, you do it after you go back from G to F to C, and then, okay. Now, I'm playing C. And then the turnaround is C7, 3 on the 3rd string, then F, 2 on the 3rd string, F minor 7, which is 1 on the 3rd string, and on the 4th, and then C again, which is 0 on the 3rd string. Okay? And this creates a chromaticism on the 4th string as well. So tying it all up, C, okay, to F minor if you like, G, C, and then G again. Now, um, you can take this and play around with this for hours on end, I'm not kidding, and I'll let you do it, but before you do, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons, so I don't know what you're waiting for, and everything is for free, of course, but if you want to give something back, there is a Patreon page, you can find it in the description, and uh, I'd be more than grateful for any pledge you choose to make if you want to be a Lick and Ref patron and help me produce more free lessons for your guitar education. So thank you very much for watching. Go have fun with your guitar and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.